In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add a cage to a character rig so that the character will walk upstairs, it will walk up slopes, it will jump over obstacles, and it will interact with rigid bodies. Ignoring my basic graphics, we have a web-based game engine that will work in Google Chrome, Firefox and Safari, a full 3D development system, and it's all free. The information and code came from a Blend for Web tutorial, Make Your Game Part 1. I applied the cage and the code to my model of a stickman. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the stickman walk cycle tutorial. You can download the file from my website or you can follow the tutorials and make the rig yourself. The character moves in the Y direction while the walk cycle is repeated. I only want the walk cycle, so I'm going to remove the keyframes on the Y location. Click on the Object Properties button. Right click on the location and clear keyframes. Set the Y location to 0 and set the total length of the animation to 20 frames. I want to edit the walk cycle. Change the view to the right view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Go into pose mode and turn X-ray on. Select the lower leg bone and drag with the mouse to go into move mode. Release and click to exit move mode. The front leg was too far forward and the back leg needs to go back a bit. Select the lower leg bone, drag, release and click. And I want to put more bend in the arm, release and click. Select the root bone, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis, and move the rig down so that his feet are touching the ground. The changes to the pose are not saved until the keyframe is overwritten. Press A twice to select all, keyframes insert whole character. For a simple walk cycle, there are only two poses, but I need to copy the pose and paste it into other positions. Go to frame 10 and paste X flipped. And don't forget the pose is not saved until the keyframe is overwritten. Go to frame 20. Paste in the edited pose and overwrite the keyframe. Go to frame 5, select the non-weight bearing leg and drag to lift it off the ground. Press A twice to select all and insert whole character to overwrite the keyframe. In the pose menu, copy the pose and go to frame 15 and paste X flipped and overwrite the keyframe. I'm going to simplify the name of the action to walk. I also need an action with the character standing still which is played when no button is pressed. When I made this file I did make a standing still pose, click the browse action button and select the other action. I will rename it idle. To use the code from the tutorial we need to add a mesh object, a mesh cage and make it the parent of the armature. Change the mode to object mode and rewind add mesh cylinder 
Press S to scale 0.2 and enter. Set the Z scale and the Z location to appropriate values, 1.75 and 1.77. And I'm going to rename the cylinder cage. In the object menu, apply scale and set the maximum draw type to bounds. Click the physics button, change blender render to blend for web, change physics type to dynamic, click collision bounds, set the collision shape to capsule, click character, select the armature, click object properties, set the parent of the armature to the cage, set the Z value to 0.5, although you'll most probably have to adjust this depending on the value set for the step height. We want the cage to interact with other objects, but we will never want to see the cage. Select the cage, scroll down and click Do Not Render. The cage is of physics type character. It will be affected by gravity, so we need to add a ground plane. Change the view to the camera view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Select the camera, press G for grab, Z for the Z axis and Z for Z local and move the mouse to move the camera back. For the ground, I'm going to make a circular plane, add mesh circle, set the number of vertices to 16, the radius to 8.5 and the fill type to n-gon. Click the physics button and click object physics. The blender file is now ready to use in project manager. Click the render button, click project manager. Click hide stock projects and create new project. I'm going to call the project my stick man 2. Scroll down and click create project. And back to projects. Scrolling down to find the new project, the first thing we have to do is replace the dummy, blender and json files. Going back to blender, file, save as, go to the blend for web folder, the projects folder, my stickman 2, the Blender folder, click on the file and click Save As to overwrite it. To overwrite the JSON file, File, Export, Blend for Web JSON, click on the JSON file and Export to overwrite it. Going back to Project Manager and clicking the link for the HTML page, the stickman scene loads, but there is no code to make him move. To add the code, go back to Project Manager and click the edit link for the stickman2 project. And click the link for the JavaScript file, the .js file. I'm going to add the code from the tutorial. Go to the blend for web website. In the community menu, click blog. Click Tutorials. At the moment, the tutorial that I want is on page 5. Scroll down, Making a Game Part 1. The first bit of code that I'm going to copy over is for the extra modules used. Starting at the Controls module, highlight the modules. We also need the Animation module. I'm holding down the Control key. Right click, copy, go back to the JavaScript file, I'm going to insert a blank line, right click and paste and tidy that up. We also need to copy over the global variables 
and the constants. Right click, copy. Right click and paste. The next section of code to be copied over will be pasted into the load callback function, which is the function that will be called after the scene has loaded. The arrow keys will be used to control the character, so I'm not going to call the enable camera controls function. Back to the tutorial, scroll down, highlight the code, right click and copy. Back to the JavaScript file, right click and paste. Underscore character stores a link to the cage. The get first character function looks for the first object in the scene of physics type character and returns a link to it. Underscore character rig stores a link to the armature. I'm going to simplify the code by using a different function, get object by name. The object that I want to get is the armature. Next, there are calls to three functions that I will have to copy over from the tutorial. The next bit of code sets up the initial animation. The stickman armature has an action called idle. Next, I'm going to copy over the code for the setup movement function. In the tutorial, scroll down, highlight the function, right click and copy. Back to the JavaScript file, scroll down, right click and paste. The only things we have to change are the names of the animation actions. When the character goes forwards and back, we'll use the walk action. And the stickman character has an action called idle. Next, we have to copy over the setup rotation function. In the tutorial, scroll down. Highlight the function, right click and copy, back into the JavaScript file, scroll down, insert some blank lines, right click and paste. We don't need to make any changes to the code so we can go back to the tutorial Scroll down and copy the setup jumping function. Right click and copy and paste that into our JavaScript file. Right click and paste. We don't need to make any changes to that function either, so we can save and Back to projects, click the link for the HTML page and hope that it all works. In another tutorial, I'll show you how to do basic debugging if it doesn't. I show how to make the stairs and the other obstacles in a previous tutorial. Go to my website or my YouTube channel for all my previous tutorials and you can download all the files used in the tutorials at my website. That's the end of the tutorial. If you'd like to subscribe, click the Stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the Patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.